Um, but this deer, man, this was this was hard earned. There's a solid group. I can see one really good bachelor. Oh God, they're all going. Getting footage. Solid footage. Solid footage of a good one. Note the vehicle, I'm out on a mini glassing mission. I had to take a shit. You can't make this up if I tried. I'm sitting here taking a poop. I look over and look at this track. Can you see that? So we are about 10 days out from the Ohio opener and today I need to get some cams up that are going to monitor one, an oak flat and two, a pressured piece of public. Three thirty in the morning and today I'm gonna go on a hunt but I'm also kind of scouting a hillside over from where I've seen some buck sign and got some intel on uh, deer using this oak flat and I believe based on some rub directions and some trail cam picks like the one buck I'm after is like coming through this oak flat and maybe a ridge this or a ridge or a hillside over so today's hunt I'm kind of gonna slip in the back door area and maybe get a visual it's a touch chilly and we got some warmer weather ahead of us so i think uh this will serve me some, some good scouting as well wind's doing some funky stuff i'm not 100 percent sure i just can't have it go that way was so mad he broke the licking branch. I mean shit. So it is raining here and we've got a few days left in October so I'm gonna get some hunting done tomorrow. With this rain I think I'm gonna use it to my advantage and maybe do a little more scouting than hunting. I also have some cams and plan to if camera spot location I had a kid sticker on me forgot my boy and i were playing if the camera location doesn't show anything good i'm gonna go kind of deep i think tomorrow i think i gotta get out of here i'm frozen 
I thought for sure if it let up just even 10 minutes, he'd show. left my stand in the, the tree yesterday and I plan to go right back in there. That area is hot and I think during the run I'm gonna just ride this out a little bit until it goes cold. Got a couple bucks in the area I'd love to shoot and uh, only negative was I caught a mushroom hunter not very far and so <laughs> I hope he can't climb trees very well because I did take my bottom sticks with me.
that's the eight point with the dull twos. Oh my gosh. What a morning. I've seen it. Five deer. I've hiked this hillside six times now. I've fallen about ten, maybe twelve. Oh man, I really hope he's down. Oh man. I'm gonna soak it in here for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna look at him and check him out. I think that'll go. The good thing is it's downhill drag, so I think I'm gonna jet sled him. I think tonight we drink beers and watch football with the boys. Um, and my wife, I can't wait to show actually my baby boy this, this buck. He, he loves petting him and, and touching the antlers on the wall, so that this will be a, a great day. You know, new piece of public land for me. And, learning it and, and really, you know, going after it. I think that's what what drives me. I love the big hills, hollers, and you never know what could come out of some crazy mountain. It's a blessing. It's a beautiful day. I'm very thankful and very, very fortunate. Oh, this might be the easiest drag out of my life. At the same time, I have zero control. <sighs> this was a special day in the woods, but by no means was my season done at this point. My sisters hunted a few days a year for the last couple seasons and yet to connect, but this would change on this frosty November morning. We found Liz's deer. Liz, how many years? 11 years. Come here. <laughs> Some brothers and sisters go get coffees. Other shoot bucks. Boom! I'm proud of you. you. Doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, coach. After that awesome day, I actually pursued late season in another state and was able to capitalize on this buck. I think I just shot up my second buck. I can see a deer up there. But uh, a buck came on this hill like literally last night and I had to make a quick decision on the ground 40 yards and I think I got him. I am so hyped and I'm terrified. I gotta get this muzzle over relayed and see if that's him. Oh my golly. So it's uh, 11 o'clock and I gotta drive back to Ohio. So I got a couple Mountain Dew kickstarts. Hopefully that'll get me through this journey. I am dead. My legs are probably gonna cramp. Oh, Nelly.